closing lineups. Someone event someone tweeted at me the other day, and I, it actually made me think about it. But I think in the closing lineup, I don't know how I don't know how Dyson, I thought Dyson had a nice summer. Um, I don't know what he's going to be like in October, but could Dyson Daniels possibly be in that closing lineup? And who? That's a yes or no question. And then if not, yes or no, whoever it doesn't matter. Who is your closing lineup? Because that's where I think y'all's death lineup comes into play. Because that's yeah, that I mean, five is nasty. Yeah, I mean the only way that Dyson I think is is closing, let's we'll say with the team is healthy. I mean, the person that would probably be sacrificed would be would be CJ. If you're, you know, if because then then it would be it would be Dyson, um, Dyson, Bi, Trey, Herb, Zion, right? I would say it'd be Herb. To be honest with you. Oh, you said Herb would be the one sitting? No, I, I would think, like, just going off, like, you're saying sacrifice, I think Herb would actually move the bench and Dyson would then go because you would think Dyson's a better rebounder. Now, sh- shooter, I mean, take your pick, but I don't think you can have Dyson and Herb on the floor at the same time in your closing lineup. I I, I understand, yeah. No, I mean, no, I mean I'm mean, i just – that's the only the only kind of setup that would, that would make – that I could see. Um, but I get, I get what you're saying. I mean, I, I get what you, I mean, it would have to be, but to me, I mean, that's, that's, you're getting, you're getting minimal returns on your, on your investments there. I mean, cause how are you using, like, we know Herb's, Herb's, a a, a really good, a really good slot cutter. Really? We know in the court, like, I mean, we've seen her in a lot of these situations. He hasn't always made, he hasn't made all the different clutch shots, but he's been put in situations um, throughout in his time in New Orleans, to where he's made clutch free throws, throws, unlike Dyson Daniels. Yes, yes, clutch free throws. We, you know, we've seen him make clutch shots defensively. He, I, I think that was unnecessary. I mean, what? I, Why was that? that, was, un- that, that was totally not a shot. Right? <laughs> like, I'm like not sure an asshole, Daniels. but he was two big free throws again today. Like, I, no, he did. I, yeah, no, no, that's gonna be that's right. something that he has to get cleaned up. But yeah, I. I that was good. But the death line of the the closing lineup is the one that we that okay. we talked about already. It's. It's so you'd start and close with that lineup. I would. I would. Okay. Lito? I don't see okay. the harm, honestly. What'd you say? I said I don't see I don't see the I don't see the harm for anything that people say that you'd be sacrificing, whether it be rebounding, um, or whatever the case may be, I think that you're missing what you gain, like like this yeah. how switchable you are defensively. Um, the fact that you're able to just be more, be more creative with a lot of your looks, you can, can, you, you can truthfully play, play five out and have five, five individuals on the floor that all have some sort of, um, dribbling capability to some respect, you know, from some perspective, um, some type of threat, even if it's not saying, I just, that would, that would, it just makes the most sense for me. Um, and you would have to, of course, figure out the rebounding. But like Five said, you got to figure that out. You you have issues to address there, um, regardless. So just you know, and your pick and roll defense would be so much better. Like it would it, it would be extremely better than what we've seen in some some respects with Jonas on the floor. Um, I mean, I, I know you probably be questioning at that point what happens with Larry, but that was my um, next question. Yeah. Yeah. Justin Jermaine Napoli. Are you tripping over? <laughs> it's Anthony, first off. Uh, okay. Nah, well, Jermaine. Nah, Jermaine, Jermaine rang off better. Have you so you 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 tripping over free throws missed in July? No, I wait. Well, hold up, hold up. I've <laughs> I've seen Herb Jones in a playing game to go to the playoffs against the Clippers knock down two free throws to win to ice the game. I've seen Dyson Daniels, and I know he's 19 years old, in game 15 in LA, shit the bed, missed two free throws today. Game on the line. Shit the bed. Like these are actual fact. Like who, that's an actual fact. Hey, who didn't guard the shooter in LA though? That was Trey Murphy, right? Five. It was Trey Murphy. But also, also, I think the coaching staff and I think they also are at fault as well. All right, all right, Jermaine. Listen, Jermaine is insane. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen. I feel like. Let me let me let me preface my statement with saying this. I feel like if the coaching staff is going to be experimental and make changes and just kind of like do diversify the lineup and do different things, I really don't like I'm interested to see it. I, I for me that's a that's a good sign instead of doing the same thing. See what not working. See what. 
like missing mixing up the 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 closing lineup, the starting lineup, like seeing what gets you a, a, a rhythm, like what what gives what what lineup gives your team some energy or what lineup is being effective or whatever. The thing with Dyson is I feel like the, I I, <clears throat> I feel like Dyson is the second best rebounder on the team. Okay. I feel like it's crazy, Chris. This is crazy. Uh, the switch up is insane off of one week, but go ahead. That's Bro, crazy. I, 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 I was saying I was old. What y'all want me to do? Like y'all acting like the people in the comments. You holding me, you holding me to my last year shit. Like I'm you know what I'm saying? You want my old shit? Go buy the old. You album. just said summer league, and now you're going off of a summer league. Now you're bought it on Dyson Daniels. I'm just saying, like y'all, hey, Chris, Chris, Chris raised valid points. You know what I'm saying? My my brother Chris, he he raised some valid points. And and, and you know what I'm saying? I did I did the work. I did the mathematics and I came back and I said, you know what? I believe. Okay. So who, so who's your closing lineup? Then? You can't have Dyson and, and Herb on the floor at the same time. No, I, I, I would, I would like to say that. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't feel comfortable doing that. That doesn't, that doesn't, that's, I, I don't see that being a successful lineup. Cause you still have to have shooting. I feel like you can have one of those guys, but you can't do both of them. Right. Pause. I feel like, I feel like, uh, I was gonna say it too. No, nah, man, like you, 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 I'm you, can't, you can't catch a player slipping, like you know what I'm saying. Like you can't slick a can of oil. So, so this is the thing. This is the thing, right? I, I for me, for me, if we go in, her, um, we. I wish we had a solo camera for you because I'm not gonna be able to hold it. Like I'm not gonna be able to. Like I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> I just looked at oh, five. God, I don't even know how to do it, man. <laughs> you gotta go. You gotta go. All right. So, all right. <laughs> Brandon Zion. You asking me my starting five, right? I mean my closing, closing five. five. <laughs> Brandon Zion. I'm gonna say Trey. Yeah, I'm gonna say Trey Herb. And whoever. Uh, oh, I guess. Whoever the starting center go be. We didn't say CJ. Brandon Herb, Zion Trey. Would would CJ CJ's got to be in your closing yeah. lineup? Like, yeah, like, no, he was. No, I, I thought I said him. That's why. I, that's why I was. I like that. Listen, I like that closing five. Um, the biggest thing to that though, Jared, is rebounding, and defensively, I guess the question would be: Well, who would guard? And this is towards. Chris, what he said earlier, but like, who is in, who's going to guard Jokic? Who's going to guard B? Who's going to guard nobody? On great Earth. Nobody on Earth can. So it goes back to though, Jared. Can that closing five, what Lito said, or even what Chris said, can they actually rebound? Can they actually gang rebound and get stops on that side of the floor? Because offensively, they're going to be hard to hard to stop. But we all know, winning games when it comes down to crunch time, you got to get stops on the defensive end. Oh, is Jared frozen? That's why Jared was like staring at me. Maybe Jared's frozen. <laughs> Chris, I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. I'll let you have that. One. I love the Sunday show, man. This is <laughs> this is great stuff. Can they can they rebound? Yeah, can they, can they actually rebound? Um, in theory that lineup's great, but can they actually execute? Yeah, I mean, I think I think the coaching staff, and I think I think Borrego. Um, specifically is like they're going to emphasize how important um that is from herb and and you know what down the stretch is like didn't didn't we see herb have have a, a few really good rebounding games herb guarded you know who did he guard down the stretch i was like he, he it was like mm, who did we play he handled him pretty well pause good job um good catch Oh. I for, I forget who it was, but he he guarded a five. I thought he did pretty good on it. It was like a, it was something like a Jokic, but one Jokic. God, who was? It? Go ahead though, Chris. I'm sorry. I, I don't think I don't think you can you can you, you can definitely either in either direction say either they can or can't do it. Right, Trey Murphy's his first his first season, and we're talking the end of the end of that of that year, getting going into the uh, the playoff series with the Suns. He looked like. A decent rebounder. He was really attacking the glass. He, you know, I, and they needed it after losing a guy like Josh Hart. Um, I've seen Brandon get some clutch rebounds. I've seen Zion get some clutch rebounds, right? I watched them play, I think it was Oklahoma City, and down the stretch, Zion was at the five and he grabbed, he he grabbed a, a couple clutch rebounds. Um 
CJ's include CJ's um improved as a rebounder last year. So I, I think individually they've gotten better. They have to find a way to put it together. We've seen it in flashes, but we haven't seen enough. Trey, Trey wasn't good enough on the boys last year, but I expect the coaching staff to make that a big emphasis for, for all of these guys. Yo, this, this if this is gonna work, regardless who's gonna be the center, death lineup or not, everybody has to be a better rebounding team. And then we'll have so many more opportunities to do what everyone loves to do with the score the basketball. I also want to follow with this, Justin. Yes. We talk yes. about when people talk about what works best for Zion and Brandon, or even just, just when one is out and the other one's on the floor, we always talk about what well, they need spacing and shooting. Leaving your best spacer and shooter on the bench makes zero sense. <laughs> Zion needs shooting. Brandon needs shooting. We we see we've seen boxing one defenses. We've seen Zion. Zion Zion's different. He's gonna have five people on him at at all times. Of five uh, defenders looking at him at the moment he steps on on the floor. But it's crazy that people want people talk about. Well, they need better shooting. They need better spacing. And you want to leave your best shooter and spacer on the bench. When bro, how many games did we see even when Zion was healthy and they had that run to where the starting like. It took the bench to enter the game to really change things. Y'all remember how many games we had to wait for Jose to get on the floor yep. for things to really take off? Yep. So so put yourself – that's a really good point, Chris, because I, I love taking this exercise. So when I'm scouting a, an opponent, um, I, I also like to take into account, like, how would they scout us, right? And so it's very easy as an opponent, right? So say we're the Pelicans. They're scouting us. Yeah, just leave Herb Jones or Dyson Daniels in the corner, focus everything on Zion. Now – you put Trey in the corner. It's like, shit. All right. Well, you can't leave Trey. You got CJ up there. You got Brandon Ingram here. And then you have Zion with the ball. There, there's just a lot of different variables and it's a lot of different thinking. So when y'all say put Trey in and what Chris is saying, your best shooter, your best spacer, not only does is that your best opportunity to score, but also puts a lot of pressure on the defense and also the coaching staff spending time talking about schemes. It takes a lot of energy just to focus on Trey Murphy when he's in the game, it's so easy to be like, all right, if her, like just what you say, Chris, a uh, Zubak beats us. He, he beats us. Well, all right. If her, it's the same thing. The coach said, if, if Herb Jones beats us, he beats us. I'd like to say that playing Herb Jones, he put up 20 points a game. That's all. That's, that, that's, that's, that's what I have to say about that. And the other thing I have to say, any attempted five threes, here's the thing. The, the offensive philosophy, if, if the offensive philosophy is put Herb in the corner, leave Herb in the corner, you already failed. Right. If you failed Herb, you failed the team. Right. The philosophy should be get Herb in motion, get him in action, get Herb to force the action, and then have his defender have to make a decision on is he gonna go with Herb on a roll? Is he gonna is Herb gonna flatten out to the corner? Or is, is Herb gonna pop out back to where the original man was, right? Because then at that point, you get to decide. Let's say Brandon has has the ball, he gets to decide which way or how to attack. Because everything is in front of him at that point. And that's when you saw Brandon flourish. Like, yeah. his last 15 games, I mean, he had, I don't mean to cut you off, but he had 13 assists, 10 assists, 13, 10, 7, 9, 8. Like, go ahead. But So, so her, her we, we, I feel like all of us have been begging for Herb to take on just a little bit of the Draymond Green role, right? Like, I feel like if you put the ball in the guy's hands who has been a point guard primarily his whole career. It, it's not like you putting, you giving her the ball and you're saying, figure out how to do this. He has the experience. He has a foundation in doing it. So it's, it's not, it's not foreign to him. And we go back to this play, the play where you, you gave the ball to Jackson Hayes at the top of the key and you were counting on him to make the entry pass to a cutting Trey Murphy. Jackson did not have the wherewithal because he's never been in that situation before to do that. You don't you don't know the, the nuances of, of things if this is your first time doing the thing. You, you don't you don't know how this is gonna right. work, right? Right. All right. So you put a guy in that position in her who not only has the, he was a he was a high school point guard, he was the point forward in college. Right? He was a point guard on the team. What Kyle Lewis was the point guard? Four year, four year guy, too. So you take that information and you can literally I feel good I feel good about Borrego because I think he's gonna take advantage of, of that. You got guys on your team who have skills like her might not be a shooter, right? 
But Herb Herb is rangy. He's 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 sneaky, springy. He can he can finish at or around the rim. And let's just say he puts pressure on the defense, right? Zion might get the rebound. JV might get the rebound. Hell, Trey might get the rebound, right? Because at that moment, all the action is going the opposite way. You turn that weak side guy is going to help. Somebody's got to help the helper. And that's where you get, that's where you get most defenses when you break them down. Yeah. Um. 